हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स वेरिएबल एंड पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अवर चैप्टर नंबर थ्री दैट इज कन्फॉर्मल मैपिंग ओके सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट व्हाट इज कन्फॉर्मल मैपिंग्स सेकंड इज सम स्टैंडर्ड ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन फर्स्ट वन इज ट्रांसलेशन ओके सो लेट इज अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज कन्फॉर्मल मैपिंग ओके सो कन्फर्मल मैपिंग द ट्रांसफॉर्म कर्व्स फ्रॉम वन कॉम्प्लेक्स प्लान टू अनदर कॉम्प्लेक्स प्लान विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू साइज एंड ऑरिएंटेशन इफ द पॉइंट जेड ऑफ एक्स वाई डिस्क्राइब सम कर्व सी इन जेड प्लान देन द पॉइंट डब्ल्यू ऑफ यू वी डिस्क्राइब अ करस्पॉन्डिंग कर्व सी डैश इन द डब्ल्यू प्लान ओके सो सो द कन्फर्मल मैपिंग इज यूजफुल टू ट्रांसफॉर्म कर्स फ्रॉम वन कॉम्प्लेक्स प्लान टू अनदर कॉम्प्लेक्स प्लान ओके सो कन्फर्मल मैपिंग आर यूजफुल फॉर सॉल्विंग प्रॉब्लम्स इन इंजीनियरिंग एंड फिजिक्स दैट कैन बी एक्सप्रेस इन द टर्म ऑफ फंक्शन ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स वेरिएबल बट एक्सिबिट इन कन्वीनियंट जियोमेट्रिक सो बाई चूजिंग एप्रोप्रिएट कॉन्फर्मल मैपिंग so inconvenient geometry that can be transformed into a much more convenient geometry okay so the conformal mapping is useful to convert curve from one complex plane to another complex plane okay second for each point x y in z plane there corresponding a point u of v in a w plane a curve c in a z plane is mapped into the corresponding curve c dash in the w plane by the mapping w is equal to f of z okay for example this is the representation of x y points in z plane so conformal mapping transforms curve from one complex plane here the point z of x y describe the curve c here the curve c in z plane and the point u v describe a corresponding curve c dash in w plane so the conformal mapping transform the curves from one complex plane to another complex plane with respect to size and orientation okay and with the help of some transformation that is w is equal to f of z so here first of all let us understand some lines equation so let us understand what is z plan and how we represent some points in z plan okay for example if we have point that is x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 x is equal to one, y is equal to one. Okay, if we want to represent this point in our z plane, so how we can represent it? So this one is our z plane. This is x-axis, and this one is y-axis. Okay, so x is equal to zero. So this one is x is equal to zero point. So this line is called. x is equal to zero line y is equal to zero so here we know that y is equal to zero point this line is called as y is equal to zero line okay now here we have x is equal to one point so here we know that this is x is equal to one point but for this here also we have in this line x is equal to one value okay so we know that here in all place we have x is equal to one point so this whole line is called as a x is equal to one line second is y is equal to one so we know that y is equal to one so this one is y is equal to one point so this line is called as a y is equal to one line here in all point we have value of y that is y is equal to one okay this one is our z plan for example if we have x is equal to y and x is equal to minus y if we want to represent it in z plan so how we can represent it so this one is our z plan and now we know that this one is x axis y axis okay so x is equal to y so if x is equal to 1 then y is equal to 1 if x is equal to so the point is here if x is equal to 2 then y is equal to 2 So our next point is here. X is equal to three. Y is equal to three. So our third point is here. 
If x is equal to minus 1, so y is equal to minus 1. So our second point is here. If x is equal to minus 2, so y is equal to minus 2. x is equal to minus 3, so y is equal to minus 3. So this line is called x is equal to y line. Okay. And here this line is called x is equal to minus y line. Okay. These are straight lines. Okay. So this is the representation of Z plan. So in W plan there is representation of point U and V. Okay. So this one is called U is equal to 0 line. This one is called V is equal to 0 line. Okay. For example we have to represent V is equal to 1. So where is V is equal to 1? So here V is equal to 1. So this line is called V is equal to 1 line. Okay, for example, we have to represent u is equal to 2. So, where is u is equal to 2? So, here u is equal to 2. So, this line is called u is equal to 2 line. Okay, so this is the representation of w plan. Okay, same as we can represent like u is equal to v and u is equal to minus v like this. So, this is our w plan. Here we have u, here we have v. This line is called u is equal to v line, u is equal to minus v line. And this line is called u is equal to v line. So here we have studied about how we represent x, y point in desired plan and u, v points in w plan. So with the help of we have to represent it in our examples. Okay. Let us start with some standard transformation. First one is translation. So the transformation w is equal to z plus c where c is a complex constant represent translation. Let z is equal to x plus i y and w is equal to u plus i v and c is equal to a plus i v. So here we have w is equal to z plus c. So put w is equal to u plus i v, z is equal to x plus i y and c is equal to a plus i v. Okay. So now by separating real and imaginary parts. So here we will get real part that is x plus a and imaginary part that is i common into y plus b. So by comparing real and imaginary parts, so we will get u is equal to x plus a and v is equal to y plus b. Okay. So image of x, y in z plan is the point that is x plus a, y plus b in w plan. Okay. These are the point u and v in w plan. So with the help of this transformation, we can easily transform the curve in z plan into the w plan. Okay. So let us understand with example that is the find the image of 2x plus y minus 3 is equal to 0 under the transformation w is equal to z plus 2y. Okay so here we have transformation w is equal to z plus 2y. Okay and then we, we have to find the image of 2x plus y minus 3 is equal to 0. Okay so here we have line equation that is 2x plus y minus 3 is equal to 0. Okay so here we will get the point x and y so by putting x is equal to 0 so by putting x is equal to 0 we will get y is equal to 3 and by putting y is equal to 0 so here y is equal to 0 so we will get x is equal to 3 by 2 okay so these are the point in z plan so how we represent it so this one is our x-axis this one is our y-axis and this is the point 0 3 so here we have point there is 3 by 2 0 x is 3 by 2 y is 0 and here we have point that is 0 3 point okay so we can say that this line is 2x plus y minus 3 is equal to 0 line okay so this one is the representation of z plan okay so here we have transformation w is equal to z plus 2y so put u plus iv in place of w here put z is equal to x plus i y and this will become plus 2y separate real and imaginary parts so this is x plus i into y plus 2 okay so here u is equal to x and v is equal to y plus 2 okay so you can clearly see that we can write x is equal to u and we can write y is equal to v minus 2 
okay so here we have equation line equation so the line equation in z plan that is 2x plus y minus 3 is equal to 0 so put x is equal to u and y is equal to v minus 2 so we will get the point of w plan so this is 2u plus put y is equal to v minus 2 minus 3 is equal to 0 so this will become 2u plus v minus 5 is equal to 0 okay so we can say that this is the line equation which is in the form of u and v okay by putting u is equal to 0 so we will get v is equal to 5 and by putting v is equal to 0 we will get u is equal to 5 by 2 okay so with the help of this two point we can draw this line in w plan okay so for example here in w plan we have point that first one is 0 5 and second one is 5 by 2 0 okay so here we have representation of w plan that is this one is u this one is v axis and here we have this point that is 5 by 2 0 and here we have this point this is 0 5 point and by joining this we will get this area that is c dash and this is the representation of w plan okay With the help of the transformation we can easily convert the curve in z plan into w plan okay let us understand with next example that is determine and sketch the image of modulus of z is equal to 1 under the transformation w is equal to z plus i okay so here we have transformation that is w is equal to z plus i okay and here we have to find out the image of modulus of z is equal to 1 in z plan so first of all let us represent modulus of z is equal to 1 in z plan okay so this is a nothing but z minus z0 is equal to r so compare this with circle equation so we can say that the center point for this is 0 0 z0 is equal to 0 0 and radius r is equal to 1 okay so this is the nothing but circle with center point 0 0 and radius r is equal to 1 how we can represent it so this is a x axis this one is y axis and this is a circle with center point 0 0 and radius r is equal to 1 okay and radius r is equal to 1 so this area is called we have here c and this is the z plan representation okay now with the help of this transformation we have to find out the image of modulus of z is equal to 1 in z plan okay so here put w is equal to u plus iv this is nothing but x plus i y plus i okay now here we have x is real part by taking i common y plus 1 is imaginary part so you can clearly see that u is equal to x and v is equal to y plus 1 okay now here we have second we can put x is equal to u and y is equal to v minus 1 second here we have modulus of z is equal to 1 okay so here modulus of z is nothing but x plus i y is equal to 1 okay we can write like this this is nothing but under root of x square plus y square is equal to 1 okay so by taking under root opposite side so this will become x square plus y square is equal to 1 okay so now we can put u is equal to, so now we can put x is equal to u here and y is equal to v minus 1 here so we will get easily point for w plan okay so this is nothing but u square plus y is equal to v minus 1 raised to whole square is equal to 1 so we can represent it like this u minus 0 raised to whole square plus v minus 1 raised to whole square is equal to 1 so this is the nothing but the circle equation which we have studied in our 12th standard okay so this is nothing but u minus u0 raised to whole square plus v minus v0 raised to whole square is equal to r square okay so the center point u0 v0 that is 0 1 and radius r is equal to 1 okay so now this is the u axis this one is v axis and here we have center point that is 0 1 so here this one is 0 1 center point x u is v 
u is 0, v is 1. So, this is the circle with center point 0, 1 and radius r is equal to 1. Okay. So, this is the representation of, so this is the circle with center point 0, 1 and radius r is equal to 1. Okay. And this area is called C dash in W plan. Okay. So, with the help of transformation, we can easily convert and this transformation type is translation type which is in the form of W is equal to Z plus C. Okay. So, we, so we can easily find out the image of the point in Z plan. Okay. With the help of this transformation and by following this method. Okay. So, today in this lecture, we have studied about what is conformal mapping and we have studied about first transformation that is translation. Okay. In next lecture, we will continue our transformation topic. Okay. Thank you for watching this video.